The headlines are usually catchy, the subject difficult to ignore, and the platforms look real. They are not. All these stories are false, designed to deceive and cause confusion. But millions read them, and many are fooled. It's a trend spreading rapidly in Nigeria. So what's behind it? Uh, journalists used to be what we call gatekeepers, but these days the gates are wide open for anybody who wants to share any information. I think that is very principally responsible. And more importantly, people have different agendas these days. There are politicians who have different agenda. There are communities, there are individuals who are pushing different kind of point of view. So unlike before, when they need to pass through this uh, a traditional media, they need to, this time around, they can just uh, on their own share this information. Internet penetration is growing in Nigeria with an estimated 93 million people online. Traditional news media is becoming the second choice for news. And some fear the spread of fake news will intensify as elections two years away approach. Definitely it can get worse. Uh, even now we are aware that there are politicians who have uh, people online who are doing their bidding. Uh, there are people who call e-rats. Uh, people call them irrad derisively to say that they are just crawling the web to just either counter or push a particular point of view. So we are going to have more of that. We live in times where ev virtually every major politician has his own people working online. It's one reason the government says it will hunt down and prosecute people spreading false reports. It's sure going to be a difficult one for the government to handle. The influence of social media is growing very strong here. More and more Nigerians are signing up every day. The government has to walk a very fine line here or else its action might be interpreted as a crackdown on freedom of speech. But certainly, something has to be done to check the growing influence of fake news in this country. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.